I, I understand the argument that, you, that you're putting forward that, okay, we should take the athletes into consideration. You're not letting me finish, Mr. Brown. Okay. You're not all letting right, me all finish. All right, all right. Because go ahead. You go keep ahead. speaking I, I, from I a apologize. business perspective. I, I apologize. Right, but let, let yeah, me just ahead. say this, right? Alright, welcome back to Halftime. Narando Brown here and my co-host Darius Burris. First of all, let me start by saying Happy New Year to all our viewers, subscribers and well-wishers. I hope you all have been having a prosperous 2020 thus far. Um, I'll put it over to my colleague Darius now. He'll um, give you an overview of the topics that we'll be discussing today. But we definitely have a jam-packed episode with some really interesting topics that we have been looking forward to. Hi, right, hello, good day, um, half-time subscribers. Um, welcome back to the show, for the show for the new year. Um, it's unfortunate that we start the show on a somber note. Um, as you all are aware, as all of us are aware, the man, the myth, the legend, Kobe Bryant, passed away in a helicopter crash. He and his daughter and seven other people who stayed, who were, who were heading to a football, uh, basketball game. And um, it was really tragic circumstances and basically this episode we want to basically dedicate it to Kobe Bryant. And with that, I would like to ask that um, for just the purpose of this show, I hope that we wouldn't have to do this again anytime soon for any fallen stars, any sports legends. We would like to have a moment of silence for... Not only Kobe Bryant, but the eight other people, inclusive of his daughter, who lost their lives in that helicopter crash on that fateful day, 26th of January, Alright, um, thank you for doing that with us at Halftime TV. So we would like to jump straight into it. Now, we're giving a dedication to this episode that we said is dedicated to Kobe Bryant. So what we'll do, we will just basically go over for the first part, highlights, anything based on, you know, you know, you wore two numbers, 8 and 24. So Mr. Brown, we will just go through probably some of the highlights we, we would have observed and, and special moments we had there to our heart. As we watch Kobe Bryant come through the league as a straight from high school, the tender age of 17, and you know, retired, the third top scoring in the until he was passed by LeBron just recently. So, Mr. Brown, I would like you to start that off. Tell me any of the moments that probably stood out to you that didn't come Kobe's life while he was playing in the NBA. Well, um, first of all, let me say, what a man, um, what a legend. Uh, a lot of persons they are fascinated by sports stars and when they pass uh, we wonder why they had such an impact on our lives and why we are feeling how we felt when the, the news broke but um, it, it, it's quite fascinating how emotionally attached we are to these individuals they are thousands of miles across the world yet they keep us um, entrenched in our televisions week after week they, they keep us entertained and as a result we build connections and without even knowing what, what what their daily lives are like, we feel as if we're we're, we're a part of it. So, um, Kobe, Mamba, um, rest easy. Uh, I, I I appreciated every every moment um, that, that 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 I I I um, I watched on my television. Um, every game that I spent uh, an additional twenty or thirty minutes past my bedtime. To, to to ensure to ensure that 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 I could see what was happening. So um, I, I and I speak not only for myself. Um, there are a lot of persons, um, especially during my generation, who who came up watching Shaq and Kobe, and um, it, it, it's really hard, it's really heartbreaking. Uh, but my, I, I I have I have quite a few more uh, favorite moments. Um, I I think the one that stands out is. 
well, the ones that stand out, uh, let me correct myself, uh, his 81-point game against Toronto, Toronto Raptors. Oh, um, yeah, that's a great one for many people, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I, 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 th- there is another game where he, he scored 61 or 62, I think, in three quarters. Um, that, that was a, another fascinating game. And uh, the final game of his career was also one to be reckoned with. Uh, he, he was quite fascinating. I think he got 60 points on that game as well. Um, that and 60 actually to close off his career. I think it was 60. Yeah. That final the, game. You know, that, that final that game. game. I actually watched that game. And the speech he had after. <laughs> Mamba uh, out. <laughs> it was a you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you're cutting up onions. Because... So after all these years, you, you observed Kobe and you saw the drive and the determination, the willingness to win with which he played that game. The thing is, though, what I look at, though, and not to cut you off, but what I look at amongst NBA players, you know, out after Jordan, Kobe became the new Jordan in that so many in this generation looked up to Kobe. And what and, stood and, out and, to and, me, and, though, and, in one of his games? Yeah, b- before, before, you, before you even proceed, I... I, I, I I don't even want to say Kobe. Kobe became Jordan. Um, Kobe he carved out a legacy for himself, and he agree, put agree. Him, he he put himself in the conversation with Jordan. So when persons that's true, speak that's of true. Jordan, they they, they 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 spoke of Kobe as well, and I I think that is the reason he he didn't want to be compared to Jordan. Um, even with with, with his number, uh, I, I watched an interview. They said he he put one more to his number. Uh, so instead of wearing 23, he wore 24 because he wanted to be better. And it, that's a type of drive we, we appreciate. And, um, we, we, but you would say, for, uh, before you even continue, would you say mm-hmm. that he didn't want to be compared to Jordan? Because all right, if you looked at how Kobe played, the way he played the game, he mimicked Jordan so much that he was almost Jordan himself. To the, the fadeaway jumper he picked up, to the footwork, to the, the tongue being out his mouth while he drove past you. Um, Kobe, Kobe, to me, it's not that he wanted to be Jordan, it's just that he saw something that he loved so much in this player that he admired, that he said, all right, as you rightly said, I see you, I see what you're doing, Jordan, and I'm going to go one better. Hence, he chose 24, as opposed to being like Jordan and choosing 23. I want to be great, not just like you, but as you rightly said, better than you. Right. So, so, so he 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 cho- he chose the, the to 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 walk in Jordan's footsteps because obviously mm-hmm. Jordan knew, knew the road to to greatness and mm-hmm. um he he walked in those footsteps because he wanted to be a a, a a better player and um we we appreciate it so much to the extent where even those who didn't watch basketball even those who who weren't interested in they basketball. Knew the new Kobe, and uh, uh, and it shows you how far reaching sports can be, um, especially a sports like basketball, which is centered in the United States. Um, a lot of uh, most uh, of the, the 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 franchise, the big franchise that spend the big bucks on basketball, um, the the television rights and all of that, they they, they are in the United States. So, um, if someone uh, on 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 the farthest end of this globe. Can, can put a, a Kobe um, tribute on, on their Facebook or, or, or their Instagram status. It shows us just how far um, the, the sports has gone and, and how far reaching it is. And it, it's quite commendable. That's true, that's true. But the thing is, Kobe Bryant actually, as you already said, he transcended basketball in that people who didn't know how to play or any of the rules of basketball knew who Kobe Bryant was. And we mentioned highlights. There was a particular game where Kobe Bryant, it, it, I would say the game was bittersweet. He scored 34 points, but he also ruptured his Achilles in that game. But why I wanted to point that out in particular is because <laughs> he wasn't aware of the injury he sustained. Eh? He sustained the injury while trying to will his team to win because they were playing the Golden State Warriors, which is also you know, one of my favorite teams. And my favorite team. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember and that game too. What, uh, I think, I think yes, they, ended they up were behind the, for, the Lakers were behind for much of that game and eventually they drew level through the efforts of not only obviously Kobe's teammates, but Kobe gave a Herculean effort in that game to will his team 
to win that game. And what happened is when he ruptured that Achilles, he was fouled right before that, 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 that injury occurred. He still got up and he took those three, those two free throws and then he went to the locker room after. That is not, that is something I saw another time, which is recently when Clay Thompson was injured in the Clay finals Thompson, of the, of the, yeah. So it's so ironic that why that happened while he was playing the Golden State Warriors and then it happened to someone on the Golden State Warriors just in the NBA Finals last year. And I saw that and I said, look at this. No matter what, it's so much bad mind Kobe had, if I could put it like that. He just he just didn't want to lose. He just didn't <laughs> believe in losing. That he was willing to, I guess, run himself into the ground and I think that particular season he did do that. Trying to drag that not so good Lakers team to the to the playoffs, and it's so unfortunate that at the tender age of forty one he had to you know he died in such tragic circumstances. But we are not here to focus on that, of course. We are here to celebrate the life of a man who, as you said, is larger than life. He is a legend. I just find it was right. a bit eerie as well, though, the fact that LeBron James passed him Saturday night in the all time point scoring. Yeah. And Kobe passes away on Sunday. You know, it, you know, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of superstitious now. It's the way how it happened. Yeah. Now. It's kind of and, eerie. And, and Kobe, <laughs> Kobe tweeted. Ko- well, Kobe actually tweeted about it Saturday night, congratulating um, LeBron. So, um, and it, it's good to see as well athletes um, mm-hmm. cheering on each other, even when their records are being broken, and that's all. So, um, it, 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 it brings us the fans even closer together um, when we can see this from athletes who um, I, I know they play they, they played with the, 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 the United States team they played together on, on the US team um, but their are competitors would say them yeah so they're competitors otherwise me. yep mm-hmm. well, that's your question do you think now that this has occurred is it that the Lakers would have more of a drive now to win the championship if Probably before it was more based on ego and, and, and personal accomplishment in that I just want to win because the championship is there to be won. Is it that they have a new motivation as in to probably honor the memory of Kobe Bryant to say, well, all right, we're going and give it all to win this championship, not for ourselves anymore. We have something else to fight for. Do you think that would galvanize them? And Because as, as a lot of people are saying, and I could say too, I've seen the Lakers against the bigger teams. And um, they haven't been playing as well. They lost to quite a few of the teams that you would think are contenders as well. The box lost the Sixers. They lost the Clippers twice. Clippers. Mm-hmm. Do you think now you expect a difference, or is it that well, it would be the same situation? Well, well, let me start by saying with, with, with the salaries these athletes are on, <laughs> they they shouldn't need more. <laughs> more. <laughs> they, they, they shouldn't need any is, more motivation. You say that it's fair. Yeah, I I agree, but I haven't gotten to that part as yet. But um, with with the salaries they're getting, they shouldn't need more motivation than that to to go all the way. But separate and apart from that, I think it would be the perfect sending off for for Kobe if if the Lakers could go all the way. Especially for LeBron James, I think he will be more motivated now to go all the way, considering that um, such a legend, such such a, a beacon... Um, with, with the Lakers franchise has passed um, and even the league on a hold it, it, it would be really really great for the NBA should the Lakers win it this year because um, I don't know it, it, it's just a, a perfect fairy tale um, so yeah it, it's, it actually it sounds yeah. more like a fairy tale than fact <laughs> yeah. the day died which was Sunday the 26th there were a number of games slated for that date and um, do you think that the NBA probably should have postponed those games given not only the influence but the close relationship Kobe Bryant in particular had to many of the players who currently play, play their trade in the NBA. Do you think the NBA should have postponed those games? Uh, uh, first of all, Darius, I, I think the mm-hmm. human element of it or, or the human aspect, um, I would say yes, but you still have to consider... Mm-hmm. The, the business aspect of it and business the aspect. NBA, yeah, and the NBA is a business. So regardless of how human we may think, okay, um, these players are humans or whatnot. If the NBA should suspend um all the games throughout the league, then um 
believe it or not. Well, let's see. Oh, I'm like, talking about that no. date in particular. Yeah, I know, but they, they, but but they would have been like all the games across the league that are playing on that particular. I think it was game, about no? eight. I think it was about eight of them played that same day. Eight yeah, so that's that, so that's sixteen hmm. teams. What's the eight like, games and he won, he won number eight. <laughs> right. <laughs> so so sixteen teams. Um, then yeah. probably uh, one of those. Well, all eight of the, all sixteen of those teams will end up playing. Um back-to-back games at some point because if, if you check the schedule now they're playing a game every other day so um where will they find That's time true. is it a ca- is it a case that you're asking them to probably push the league a little bit longer or um maybe make the the all-star weekend uh, i don't i don't know because the all-star weekend is just for a weekend so i i, I can't see where it would fit in there either um mm-hmm. i i I think it, it it is a good concept, um, and mm-hmm. it, it's good on paper, and it sounds good when you say it. But um, mm-hmm. the practicality of it, uh, it, it's not feasible. And whereas it would but be good, it would have been it would have been good. Um, mm-hmm. it, I know I know what your next point will will, will be. Yeah, you're you're you're, gonna, you're probably you're you're probably gonna <laughs> you're probably gonna mention <laughs> you're probably gonna mention um, the Lakers game that was postponed. <laughs> But, well, um, I want to get to that, but I don't want to. I want to say that obviously explain where I'm going with that, of course. Yeah, so but, I'll let you finish. Yeah, but um, as I said, Darius, it it, it will be quite difficult mm. um, because a lot of teams, several of the teams, as a matter of fact, they remember the United States is really big, and the teams that are participating in the the, the NBA are traveling thousands of miles um from one end to the to the other, especially when it comes to the Golden State Warriors, Toronto Raptors, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. the LA Lakers, uh, Boston Celtics. These but sometimes are, some um, travel from east to west, eh? so that, you know you are in Golden yeah. State and you have to go and play the Raptors. That's what, that's exactly what I'm saying. So, so <laughs> these are op- so, yeah. these are literally opposite ends of of, of the uh, of of the country, and that that's really really far and tedious. So imagine those guys mm-hmm. having to play games back to back. <laughs> so it, it, it's quite difficult as i said it, it sounds good on paper it sounds good when you say it and it looks good on paper but um it, the practicality of it i'm not so convinced all right let's hear what you have to say now well um i, I hear you and I, i'm listening and i understand i obviously understand the the ultimately is a business but we're looking at a situation it's i wouldn't i would say it's probably extenuating situation uh, extenuating circumstances because um this is basically an icon this is a, a not too long retired icon in the league mm-hmm. and um these players are not robots Kyrie Irving took the game off he was supposed to play that same Sunday he took the game off. well Jason Tatum was injured but I know he as well was a lot of them went to Kobe's training camps in the summer so you know everybody has a personal relationship with him. Yes, the Lakers game cannot exactly be used as an example because the Lakers and Clippers are, are, are located in the same city. So it is probably easier. But at the same time, you don't know the, 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 the mental standing of some of these players when they... Uh, some of these players during the tribute, you actually saw them breaking down. Yeah, and that, let, let, I'm not going to cut you. I'm, I'm not going to uh, cut you, but let me, let me, let me mm-hmm. put something in there, though. But um, yeah. how many pl- how many players make up the basketball squad of each NBA team? About fourteen, I think fourteen. 14 a- about players. fourteen, yeah. and I know and how many are on the court yeah. at any given time? It's five, right? Five, five each side. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I am pretty sure um, Kobe doesn't have personal relations with every one of these players across every team. So mm-hmm. if if say for instance mm-hmm. Kobe is close with Kyrie, you should have someone else who can sit in for Kyrie when he doesn't play. And it's the same thing yes, with with the Lakers. And it's, a, it's, a, mm. it's the same thing with 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 with, 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 with uh, the Lakers. And it, mm-hmm. it not it, it, I, before you even mm-hmm. put in your your counter argument, um, it's entertainment at the end of the day. So. Sports is entertainment, and we go back to but the you human. You didn't even let me finish the first argument. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna say it because earlier in the season we we mentioned about um taking uh, games off and resting players and all of that. All right, and we that's were, different we were, circumstances. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We we were in, we 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 were totally against that idea, right? Because we're saying okay, these players get paid 
millions of dollars and you expect them to entertain you. Well, my you argument wasn't same. along that line, <laughs> but you can. You were, yeah, but you were saying it. What, what you were my saying. My argument is, was the fact that yes, mm-hmm. you're getting paid, but you are fit. So what do you think yeah. the games are for? Yeah, so so the other players then, if there are fourteen players on on the uh, on yeah. the, the basketball team, because we're going back to that point mm. now, and only two players mm. are affected, why then should the remaining twelve players be be um be sidelined with, with um what 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 what's the, what what do they call it <laughs> bereavement <laughs> bereavement leave. <laughs> Well, in your case, you are assuming that it's just two two players. No, no, I, I'm just giving. I'm just, I'm, d- I'm just giving you an analogy. So, because all right, well, um, all right. It, yeah, because um, I, they, they're, I, I am, I am, no, I, I am a hundred percent sure that Kobe isn't close with every single player on all these teams. And nobody and, said that you. Know, that is not right. right. Going here, you so, know. what I'm saying yeah. is this, right? You see, mm-hmm. you mentioned. Business again, you say it's 14 players and so forth, right? Agreed. Yeah. But when you look at the business side of it, don't people pay to go to these basketball games exorbitant sums to see stars? Exactly. We can probably agree that most of the stars will close them. So if it is you go to a game, they keep it and the stars took bereavement. Wait, the stars took bereavement as a result of this death. So you're now seeing uh, the second string players. Every all the second string players play. Is it that the product now is, I guess, I wouldn't say damaged, but the product is watered down as compared to if they are healthy mentally and physically to play the game? Because but, at, uh, at the end uh, of the day, uh, as you so said, it's hold entertainment. On, but hold you on, hold always on, want to see the best hold players. Hold on, Darius. Uh-huh. Hold on, Darius. Darius. So, uh-huh. so you you just yeah. said mental. Me, oh, they're they're healthy mentally and physically. So what time well, yeah, frame yes. should what time frame should we then put on this? Because um, mental well, state does uh, well, because m- mental stability doesn't take two days or three days to to to, to recover. So so what then mm-hmm. are you saying? Because if you want you you're well, saying if you can mm-hmm. hold on the argument you put forward prior to now is that they should have probably suspended the games on that particular day the eight games right. Um, mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. want to ensure that all uh, the stars, quote unquote, are mentally fit to to mm-hmm. to put on their best performances. But who to tell? I I am I am one hundred percent sure LeBron James will not be mentally fit anytime soon. Um, he when when the news broke, I I, I saw a video of him crying in the airport. Um, so these are persons who had had Sunday dinner with Kobe. Um, I, mm. I, I, I've experienced the loss of someone close to me and it, it doesn't go away overnight. It doesn't go away in a fortnight. So, um, us sitting here and saying, okay, they should have taken a week off or a day off or whatnot. It doesn't change anything. All right. It doesn't change anything. A day off, uh, a well, day off doesn't Randall, put it. That is an <laughs> assumption on your part that it wouldn't change but, because, all right, but, let us, let, let us hold look up, at hold any it, type there, of illness. Sometimes mental as opposed to. Uh-huh. Hello? I, 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 yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to a, a, a football analogy because I enjoy these so much. Um, Ernesto Valverde, um, he lost his daughter, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's his daughter. Mm-hmm. He lost his daughter, and he, he took, he, he resigned from his job, basically. No. Mm-hmm. Right. So Did he resigned. No, he didn't resign. He he stepped away. Yeah, he stepped away from from his Spain, his Spain mm-hmm. job. No? Mm-hmm. No. What are you talking about? For, for, for any type of loss? No, no. I'm saying Ernesto Valverde, he lost his daughter. Uh-huh. And he, stepped away, he stepped away from the sport right. for... His I, daughter, I think it right? was, Yeah, I think it was a few months he stepped away for. Um, and it's right. things like these. So, us saying then, an athlete or a sports professional should... Um, well, a, a sports committee then, a body should suspend a, a game. It, it, it is not practical on, on no level whatsoever. I, I understand the argument that, you, that you're putting forward that, okay, we should take the athletes into consideration. You're not letting me finish, Mr. Brown. Okay. You're not all letting right, me all finish. All right, all right. Because go ahead, you go keep ahead. speaking I, I, from I a apologize. business perspective. I, I right. apologize. But let, let yeah, me just ahead. say this, right? Mm-hmm. We, work in, we work in wherever we work. There is something yeah. for bereavement leave, not so? If you were yeah. to lose somebody, don't you have a situation where you are afforded days as a result of this loss? 
Yeah, what is somebody know. where where I would they say it's family member living in your household, right? So you mentioned Valverde. Yeah. What I have asked and what I am speaking about is one day. Yes, you say much may not change, but if you look at illness today, you may be so sick you cannot get out of bed. Tomorrow you are still sick, but you are a bit better, and that is where I'm going with this. You know, I don't expect that you will be completely recovered by the time you play your next game. You know? I am just saying, because it is so fresh, because the wound is so open and bleeding out, you may need a little time to gather yourself. And when I say a little time, just today, <laughs> just as of right no, now, you, yes, you, know what? you understand yeah. you have your work to do. And yes, yeah. the business argument is there, and it is a valid argument. I am not knocking it down. I am just saying, we yeah. also have to... Take into account the business is about the product we put out. And if the product we put in out, which are the people that are supposed to play the game, aren't in their best form mentally, you're not going to get the best basketball game. Just that's, that's what I'm saying. I am not saying that I expected them to do it for sure. I'm just saying it's something that could have been considered because it was considered for Lakers, I'm guessing. Obviously, because he was he played with them his whole life. So we know why that game was postponed in particular but the Lakers haven't played for some days you know so it's not even one day they got they got a bit of time I think they haven't played for the week since he died they played Saturday and I haven't seen a Lakers game since Saturday they were supposed to play Tuesday and then well they're probably playing tonight tonight is what Thursday so as you can see they because of that they got a break and as I said we all understand that Kyrie Kyrie was very close to him. I mentioned bereavement leave to bring it back to this point that for all we know, based on how close Kyrie was with Kobe, could have been like uncle to nephew or whatever. He probably might need that leave. And we already know Kyrie has issues mentally. We know that. I, 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 <laughs> and, and and um that is it. That that is the only one I'm in agreement with. And if, okay. if, if you if you paid attention to what I I was lamenting, I'm saying right. there are 14 players on the team, and I don't expect all 14 of them to be. Um, That's a piece in a pot, piece in a pot with Kobe, right? Uh -huh. Um, I, I I can bring you back to a few years ago. Newcastle former Newcastle uh -huh. player Chick Ch Tiote, he lost his life, and uh -huh. he was uh, he was a Newcastle player sure. for I think it was five or six years. Um, yeah. when it got when it got to 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 his number um on, on the time uh, on the time board, they they stopped the game of play in the stadium. Um, gave him a, a moment of silence and. Uh, they did the the, the twenty four minute um, violation um, in the games that were played on Sunday, and I think yeah. and uh, I, th I think people breaking down during those violations as well. Yeah, and, and I think that is fitting for the other teams with the Lakers. I I fully comprehend. I fully understand why yeah, I that understand is. What the yeah, but for the rest of the teams, I, um, I'm not gonna come in and say okay then. Um, I am putting myself in the commissions. Um shoes right now i'm not gonna come in and say okay all games are suspended throughout the league right now no because not all teams were directly influenced um well by kobe you would say so kobe, well yeah like that is a funny they, bit <laughs> they, they, they 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 played against they, they played against him or whatnot but not all teams are gonna say okay i i, I am extremely shook um but by his passing and, uh, think about uh, yes. this right uh -huh. perspective here you mentioned yeah. not everybody is affected, but random people on the street who never yeah, who seen no, Kobe in their yeah, life, never no, even touched him, get... affected by this. So imagine a man who stood next to him, guarding him, not even guarding. He stood on the bench and Kobe passed because he custom. He's on a team and he probably interacted with Kobe after the game. So if yeah. those people who on the street who have never seen Kobe in their life have been greatly affected by his death. Imagine the basketball players who even had the, minimal the, interaction with him at some point. And, 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 and you, you <laughs> can't even look, you can't even look at it that way either, Darius. Because what, what I'm gonna say maybe now, maybe I'm is, maybe I'm so yeah, maybe, maybe yeah, yeah. Because I'm gonna maybe tell I you no, because because sometimes us as fans love the players even more than the competitors are are, are, are their peers that are there. Yeah, so, so, so you so you making the comparison with 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 a fellow player or a competitor who a fan. Um, that that mm -hmm. that's that that's a, a way out of the box because I I but can Kobe assure was you, was a lot of them idol, eh? As you would you would have yeah. heard, you heard it. Many of them yeah. saying they grew up watching Kobe. 
that era grew up watching Kobe. Kobe is the man. This is the guy yeah. I want to emulate. This is the guy who is the top of the class in the league and everything like that. Because you remember, they, Kobe came after Jordan. When the Jordan, the, that Bulls era was finished dominating, it was Kobe and Shaq. Kobe and Shaq tandem was dominating the tripeat and then, well, Kobe was still around because he won two more after Shaq left. So you would understand that this is your mentor. This is somebody you totally look up to. This is somebody who you model a lot of your playing style after and this person go on. And this person actually used to mentor and train other NBA players because he used to have a training camp every summer. So, yeah. as I said, maybe I am soft. Maybe I am. <laughs> but <laughs> I still have to... I would always look at the human element in anything. Yeah, business but, is business. You have to make money. I, I, Logistically, a lot of things difficult and whatever the case may be. But I still think they would have gotten back that money. That's how I, I see it. I, I, I even, if it's I, anything, his debt has given the NBA boost. The, 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 the money... It's not only the money, as you said, the logistics. Is, I guess you is, said the logistics. The logistics is more. Yeah, the logistics is is even more important than the money because, as I said, we have to take all the teams into consideration, right? True. Um, and whereas a lot of teams are 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 extremely devastated by the passing, it, it's it's just one of those days for other teams, um, and. Where you'll have one or two players on there that are like, okay, um, he was my idol and he passed, and they probably whisper a word of prayer or a moment of silence or whatnot. But these guys are not gonna stay up all night crying. Um, well, so <laughs> I wouldn't say that. No, I would no, no, I'm, I, 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 no, I'm, talk, <laughs> no, I'm I talking I about. Stay up all night crying. Yeah, but but I'm not talking about the ones that are close yeah. to him. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, really that, I, I'm a, I'm alluding to the persons who aren't as affected as much. Um, as a maybe as a as a Kyrie or or, or LeBron James or whatnot, so there are players in or the Jason league who Tatum, these guys, yeah, these yeah guys maybe they may, yeah, so maybe they played with Kobe or maybe he 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 they attended a, a basketball camp of his, but um, his passing will be okay. Probably someone not so close, but that they have come in contact with, and as a result, it it, it will be sad, and they will show respect for the the life that has been lost but they won't be losing much sleep over it if you get the angle that I'm coming from but let me just ask you a question I'm not be, I want to be I want to be devil's advocate if they okay. wouldn't probably postpone a game for that what do you think they will postpone a game for well they postpone the Lakers game but I'm talking about how Sunday that day eight, eight, eight games and Kobe passed and everybody was emotionally you know, affected by it do you think the NBA outside of a natural disaster would have suspended the games for any other reason I, I don't see it. <laughs> I, I, you don't I, see I, it? I, I, <laughs> maybe, maybe the passing of the commissioner. <laughs> but I was not going to ask that. <laughs> if the commissioner passed, he probably will. And that is the thing. That is the thing. You see? You see? So that, that tells me that they can pick and choose when they want to do things like that, you know. It depends yeah, on yeah. how they view the circumstance. I, if they yeah, are big I, enough, <laughs> if, if, I guess if, they if, don't see Kobe yeah. as that. Yeah, because if the commissioner passed, like, he's ahead of the If operation. the commissioner passed, I am certain they would have postponed those games, son. I am because certain. He's the, the, reason, the reason being, um, he's the head <laughs> the of the spectrum. commissioner to the games. Right, he's the respect. head of the spectrum. And, like, um, different persons across the, the, the country are, uh, the country plus Toronto, then, let me put, uh, plus Canada, let me put it in there. Um, mm-hmm. They are responsible for the, the day-to-day operation of the basketball teams or the upper, um, the games on the night of play or preparing the games um, when, when they're scheduled to take place. But the commissioner is the head of all that. So if the, if the head is out, then these different, um, I, I'd call them MP then, as I'd say. So you have the head of the government, who is the prime minister, and then you have different MPs responsible for the, for the constituency. So the day-to-day running and um, if anything should happen in these constituencies. But I don't so, think him... Being dead <laughs> would have no, 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 what they have no, to no, do. no, no, it won't affect them. But what I'm saying, mm. when the prime minister passes, then these individuals remember, mm. these are these persons that we're talking about. It's not uh similar to the case of Kobe because they mm. report directly to him and they are directly I- impacted by the passing of this particular person. So, mm. um, it, it, it would only be fitting if the games are suspended and they can um pay their respect or. 
um, recuperate then uh, 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 and get themselves together to come back again. Because but it's <laughs> funny that you mentioned he as the head, right? So he's the head of the basketball. He's the, the commissioner, of course. But when you look at it, in the NBA, there's also a player's head. Not, not an actual head, meaning it's a, 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 a position that you apply for. There are players that you look at as the face of the league. Not so, not? Uh, correct? So we, as we know right now, LeBron is the face of the league. But we know right before yeah. LeBron, Kobe was the face of the league. So, so, so if let LeBron, us suppose if in this if, case, if, if LeBron you, passes... You, yes, I was not going there. If LeBron God, passes God as the face of the league, what do you God think will happen? God forbid, of course, yes. We don't God want forbid. anything to happen to the brothers out there. We think we call him death on LeBron. I want to say one. We're not calling death on him. We're looking at... We're looking at the circumstances under which you think they would take into consideration people mourning. That is where we're going with this. I want to make that abundantly clear. <laughs> so yes, let us suppose, God forbid, of course, King James. I, 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 I think you think they it, will suspend it? it? I, I think it, it, it would have had a better chance of being suspended. if. if and that's the thing, we can't be convenient with these things. If it is, that, that would be I case. think... As you rightly said, you wouldn't do it for any player. If some random benchman, if, if a guy who is a role player passes away, of course I don't expect you to suspend. But we, we also need to understand that, yes, in life there are people at the top and there are people in the middle and people at the bottom of any scale. So, I would say Kobe was at the top of the scale. That, which is why that, I would think he that, should have been afforded something like that. But okay, that, it's just me. There, is, there, there, are, there, are mil, there are million and one angles to, to debate this from. Um, I don't think it, we, we, we will finish It's an tonight. excellent debate though, actually. Mm-hmm. I really, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, because um, I, I can even put it back in there and say um, uh-huh. maybe if Kobe was currently playing, maybe if he, he was Probably not retired, that, then it, there like would have been a bit... Yeah, so maybe there would have been a better chance of them suspending the games had he still been playing. But um, we can just say, okay, he's a businessman. He's, a, he's now a random businessman then, quote-unquote, right? He, he's a random businessman that used to play in the NBA. Um, are we now going to do this for everybody? Well, because that's what I said. It, of course, they, we because it, who and because what rank these people hold. Yeah, because... And we know the rank they, 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 held at one point. But, he was the but, face. But, but but there are several there there Kobe is a legend in the bas in, in basketball what in the NBA. He's he a legend. Before right. LeBron. And, and it can be argued that apart from Jordan, um it, no one else comes close really. The Kobe and, and Jordan top two, a lot of persons will say. Um there are other well, like things in the era. Because yeah. you know it would have a lot of people will talk about the Bill Russells and the people prior to so we will look at if we're looking at the current era yeah. of people that we know of that many of the young people know. Yes, they will look at that, and then when LeBron will be there, of course, you know. Uh, uh, exactly my point. So um, I I can go over to to different sport. Um, should I, should we then um say when Roger Federer retires, then if he passes, if tennis, if, if Wimbledon is playing, they should put off all the games. Um, should we um postpone all the games in football across the world when Pele passes? Um, you get what I'm saying, so it, it's yeah, but, things but like this. It, it can't it, be applied like that. If we yeah, it, so it, it, remember it, basketball it, it's, is an American sport, it, it, it's mainly it, played there, unlike football and tennis and these type of things. So, more, all right, let, let me narrow it down then. All the games in Brazil <laughs> should be should be postponed on the day then when Pele passes. Well, I can't say so. <laughs> Copy in, touch everybody. <laughs> I, I'm speaking in the NBA in particular, like National Basketball League in the America in America. Yeah. Kobe is from America, he represented mm-hmm. America in, in, in the Olympics. More than one mm-hmm. gold medals at it. So that is why I looked at it from that angle because I, the, the, the number of basketball players it has is about four hundred and something players has been in the NBA. Because it's only thirty teams. And the number of them he would have touched for the time he was there and from his retirement and whatever. And just saying that it would have a, a lot more people in that small knit community that would have been affected by this as opposed to uh, a Pele passing. Yes, you would have seen Pele play and so forth when he was young, but you understand Pele all. So if he was to die, you say, all right, it's just sad, but you understand, he lived a full life. Kobe and they, 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 is a they, they are, You know when people die young, how it, how, you know what has happened when people die young. Yeah. 41 yeah. is not old. <laughs> yeah. 
41 so, is just a, just so a few years the effect from it. it has when a younger person dies, you know, it, the outpouring does be a lot greater because it's obviously unexpected. But as I yeah. said, and I will always reiterate, I, I'm more of a, I would say I'm a soft in that regard, I could admit that, where I look at that human side because you never know. You never know what someone could do, you never know how they can react to something like that. But well, um, I, 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 I like to be more practical and um, where, where, whereas the, the, the human element is quite crucial and we need to take it into consideration, um, we, we also need to take into consideration the bigger picture. And um, Kobe well, passed. If the commissioner go, they'll suspend it. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, Kobe, Kobe passed and it, it's really sad and um, we, yeah. we, are all, we are all affected. And um, the tributes were remarkable from the, the, the number of tributes I saw, especially on social media, it's remarkable. Uh, I, I saw Usain Bolt, I saw Ronaldinho, Cristiano Ronaldo, um, Kaka. Uh, I, I saw most all the athletes uh, across different sports across the world um, yeah. showing, their, showing their respect to Kobe. And um, it, 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 it's good to see... Uh, most of these guys, I think Neymar, he scored on the weekend and he... Yeah, he and up, he held up the 2 and the 4. The, the, the Kobe 2 and 4 of So, 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 so yeah, with so. that being said, we will end the episode on that note. We'd like to say um, we are glad to be back in the new year to bring you fans the most exciting, scintillating, energetic and objective sports commentary. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And comment, of course, we, we have a lot of riveting debates to come throughout the season. And again, we would say, all right, rest in peace to Kobe, the Black Mamba Bryant, and his daughter, of course, who tragically passed on Sunday, as well as the seven other people who succumbed in that crash. Uh, all right, um, Brown, you have anything to say to close? Um, before we go, uh, I, I'd like to, to put it out there as well that... Um, we, we need to understand um, time and place and now is a time for mourning and appreciation for the, the, the legacy of, of, a, of a legend. And um, I've been seeing um, some journalists, quote unquote, or, or whatever they may call themselves, um, doing comparisons with Kobe and Michael Jordan. And I don't think now is, is a fitting time to do this. Uh, we, we, need, we, need to, we need to appreciate um, his life and have some respect for him. It's the least we can do. Um, and I'm sure even them, they themselves have been influenced by Kobe, if, if, if not directly, indirectly. Um, maybe they, they even stayed up a, a, a few minutes later than they usually go to bed, as I did, um, to, 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 to watch some of his games. And um, they, they criticized him because uh, he, because of the situation with him and Shaq and all of that and what, not, what have you. But at the end of the day, it is life and whoever it is, um, the loss of one's life um, should be respected. Um, and we need to, to show some sympathy. Um, uh, as, as my colleague said, the human element, and now is the time for us to, to show that we're humans uh, and um, quit the hard scrap uh, as, as I like to say so um, rest in peace Kobe Bryant you were a true legend and uh, it, it's one of the most powerful quotes I've been seeing lately heroes come and go but legends live forever